I want to build a command line application called Draw. This utility will render geometrical shapes, circles and squares. We will start with circle. The application is all about shapes, so it will have a mandatory argument called Shape. This positional argument can be square, circle and maybe in future I will add triangles. Whatever figure I will draw, I will switch between optimized algorithm and a simple algorithm. So there will be a so-called switch command line argument. It is called switch because it can have yes, no, on, off, true, false values. To draw a circle, we need a center and a radius. So we'll need to take care of these arguments. The square command will need to accept two coordinates. Obviously, a square figure will be more intuitively expressed by four points. For the sake of simplicity, I will stick with two diagonal lines points. So let's start. Here I have the very basic skeleton of the command line utility draw. The first thing that I want to do is to create an argument parser instance. And then I'll add the mandatory argument shape. And at this moment shape argument can have two values, circle and square. In order for this parser to take care of command line arguments, we need to invoke a method called parse args, like this. And only with this 15 line of code, our application has already a very useful help menu. Let me show you. This help menu was generated for us by arg parse module. If I try to use draw utility, with a different argument, say XYZ, it will complain with invalid choice. And I want to draw your attention to a couple of very important points. So first of all, there's no virtual environment. The Python interpreter that I use here is the system-wide one. And second, I did not install anything, because arc parse is a built-in module, and it comes together with Python interpreter. Yet another very important point is that this parser, it is exactly the same that is provided here in Django commands. So that's why whatever we'll learn here in a very, very simple script, which does not even lives in a Python virtual environment, will be 100% applicable inside Django commands. And now let me add the optimize argument, which is a switch. Optimize will be an optional argument. This is expressed by double dashes. And also let me add a shorter version of it. Shorter version is expressed with only one dash. To transform this argument into a boolean value, I need to use action key. This line of code, it tells that if this argument is present, then it will be true. Otherwise, it will have default values of false. And the way we will use this argument is following. If this argument is present, then args will have automatically an instance called optimize, which will be true. If this argument will be omitted, then this value will be false. Let me show you that. So with this option, it used optimize algorithm, so it was this branch, otherwise it will branch into this part, which means argument optimize is false. And now I want to take care of this optional argument called center. If I add center argument like this, then it will accept only one value, only this one, x in our case. But the thing is, I want to add actually an x and y. All arguments by default accept only one value. And to do it to accept two values, I just need to add an args key. So this one instructs the parser that this option will accept two arguments. Let's check the help now. Now center accept two values. But actually it will be a lot nicer if instead of center, center, we will have something like x, y. In order to display nicer, so to say, arguments, there is yet another key called metavar. The thing is, when parser will read values for this argument, it will place them in a list. And that list will have two items, first argument and second argument. And this metavar key 
basically says for the first argument which is in that list call it x and for the second a better name will be y with this meta var key let's check again the help you see it is way better now we will use exactly the same logic to define coordinates for the square p1 and p2 the only thing that in this case i used a shorter version but you know what to be consistent let me add a longer version here and a shorter version here now it looks much better so what i want to do now i want to define very basic classes like square and circle add some basic application logic square class is defined by two points two diagonal points point one and point two for the beginning all what square class will do will just print a message and sort of same for circle class and now depending on shape argument we'll use one or another class here at the end of function main i'll do something like so circle if is first defined by a point and then radius else now as i mentioned in the previous lesson it is way better to use constant inst instead of these strings let me define two constants circle and square at the very top of the module and then replace the strings with the constants similar thing here this code has a couple of issues one of them is that we didn't define radius yet but even if i define it if you remember from this slide radius is not an optional argument it is a positional which means i will need always to define it but radius actually doesn't make any sense to be used with square the way code is written right now i can use it like this i want to draw a square with point 1 coordinates point 2 2020 20, and center 0 0 actually this center doesn't make any sense to be used with square but still our command line utility accepts it hmm, well there's a problem this p1 and p2 should be actually be point 1 and point 2 because the long name of an argument define its name inside these arcs so here instead of point p2 should be point 2 point 1 and similar thing here point 1 back to our command line now if i run it it tries to draw a square and it, it silently accepts the center we will solve this problem with so-called sub parsers i will split the main parser in two sub parsers and in one of them i will add all arguments for square command and in other sub parser i will add all commands for circle this is the way actually arc parse module is used to create sub commands let's see this in action so first thing i will move common options to the top so that options like optimize will still be with main parser so this one i'll move to the top and then i'll create sub parsers i will create two separate functions one function will handle sub parser for circle and another function will handle sub parser form square and then i need to define these functions and this and each of these function will create a parser from its own sub parser and for the rest of this function i will add arguments the same way i would do to the normal parser for circle we have a mandatory radius and an optional center if center coordinate is not specified then the default is zero zero for square parser instead of these strings i will use constants and if i'll check help menu now draw command has now one positional argument which can have two values circle and square these three dots suggest that there is even more help which means that each of these uh, sub commands has its own help so i can see help for circle 
center and radius and for square coordinate 1 and coordinate 2 which is exactly what I wanted but we are not done yet because this part of the code args.shape is not applicable anymore we don't have an argument called shape anymore and the way to distinguish between circle subcommand and square subcommand is a little bit different so instead of comparing arguments here for each parser for square parser and for circles parser we'll add a default function and it will be invoked with args variable with this one here but not a common one but specific to that command so this function is the place where we want circle to be invoked and the circle will go into this function and this args contains parsed arguments for circle subcommand and similar thing is for square and after arguments are parsed I need to add this function call and if I'll check draw command now the square is invoked and if I try it with center obviously it is unrecognized option I can use center option for circle subcommand 40 is the value for radius yes because for circle the argument is not point but it's center great and what I want to do now I want to display a more detailed information about the circle notice that point one coordinates x and y are used as first value and second value of, of the list because when we use an args all values consumed for this argument are placed into a list so center is a list with two items and the same is for point one and for point two I will draw a circle center coordinate 2020 and radius of 60 great and similar thing we can do for square I hope you enjoyed this lesson thanks for watching